Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, new video about Matomo Analytics. In today's video, I'm going to introduce a cheap way of creating uh, custom reports. So as some of you know, you have uh, premium features named custom reports, which is available on the marketplace, which uh, allows you actually to create uh, the custom reports of your dream with the dimensions and the metrics that you want to do, that you want to have. But as you can see, you need to pay actually a license fee of uh, 200 euros minimum per year. So probably some of you uh, may not have the budget actually in order to create those custom reports. Then there's the second option when you can actually develop your own a plugin based on developer.matubo.org and create your own custom report, but probably you don't have any developer skills. So uh, what is the option that you have in order to create it uh, without any budget and without technical uh, uh, background? So I found out uh, the solution a couple of days ago, just uh, it was kind of obvious. It's just that uh, I did not think of it. So um, let's say that we would like to create um, a custom report here. And this custom report is going to give you actually uh, the entry pages uh, coming from uh, the Google search engine. So let's say that uh, you are interested in knowing about all those entry pages. What are the ones uh, which are uh, coming from uh, Google search? Okay. So uh, basically, you will be interested in this custom report if you would like to track, let's say, your your SEO evolution and see if uh, some of your pages have been indexed by Google. Of course, there are some other ways that uh, you can find it out, but let's imagine that's what you are interested in. So, uh, so far, actually, uh, what you would have done without any custom report is that you would have taken this report and you will have created uh, a segment for that. and. Um, and that's it. And every time that you want actually to see uh, the, the progress on those pages, you will have actually to click on this link and uh, to select actually the um, segment that uh, you want. So in my case, I'm just going to um, actually I already created it. So that's um, that's my segment it's called Google search. As you can see, channel type is search and refer uh, name is uh, is Google. So I'm just going to uh, save and apply it. And we're going to see that, of course, uh, the performances are um, a bit different. So let's uh, let's look at uh, this uh, given report, modify with uh, the segment. And as you can see, the entrances are a bit different. But uh, here we have the report that we are interested in. Uh, unfortunately, we'll have to click on and on. So the solution in order to save, let's say, this custom uh, report, which is not really a custom report, uh, one way you can do it is just to click here on the wheel and to create what we call a, an email report, OK? Uh, so of course, it's not name custom report, but that's that's the workaround I found, OK? As I said, that's a cheap way of creating some custom report. Um, and you're going to say, like, um, uh, Google evolution uh, with entry, entry page, there are entry pages or something similar to this. In any cases, this is the name of your uh, custom report, I would say. Then choose a segment. So in your case, it's going to be uh, the Google uh, search. And that, that's the key thing here. That's the fact that you're going to create an email report. You're going to apply it the segment that you choose. But instead of um, making an email sent to your email address, you're just going to pick up never. And what it will do is actually it's going to create the report, but without sending you any email. Uh, then you don't care about this part. Then you need to choose actually uh, the option that you would like to get. Probably you will be more interested in the HTML and the CSV uh, web. But probably you could just pick up the CSV or the HTML. It's, it's really up to you, Mike. I'm just going to uh, pick up the HTML. And um, you probably want to have two things, uh, the evolution and as well. So um, the graph in my case. And um, yeah, that's. That's it, I will say. So, uh, and then you would like actually to get the entry pages. So, it's just going to go over here and click on uh, entry pages. And that's it, I guess. So, if I go over here and I create my report, uh, what it will do is that it's going to create uh, the given report over here. And I'm going to delete this one. I don't. I don't care about this one anymore. Um, so here, if you click on uh, download, it will generate you uh, the page. In my case, there's no data for this given report because it's uh, linked with the date that you are looking at. But if you just pick up uh, the month date and that you go over here, then if you click on download, you will get actually the 
uh, evolution that you wanted, you see? So you will get exactly all the different pages that you that you wanted. So that's uh, that's great. It's kind of a custom report, I will say, even if that's not through the UI of Matomo. But as I said, that's a, that's a cheap way to do it. And uh, now let's uh, let's continue. So let's create uh, a second custom report. So in our case, I'm gonna do like the same thing, but just for Bing. Uh, so just gonna uh, it's gonna be Google search we said, and that was channel type. That was refer name. Okay, so channel tab refer name. Oops. So we go over here and we say okay, that's gonna be Bing search. So Bing search. Yep. Sorry for that. Bing search channel type. Okay, so that's gonna be search. Yep, and and uh, um, and it's a refer name, and it's Bing. Yep. Sorry for that again. The Bing. So it's Bing search. I'm just going to check if I got some visits actually coming from those. Okay, great. Um, I got some. And let's go over here. And we're going to do exactly the same thing, right? We're like just going to go for email reports. And we're going to say Bing evolution entry pages. So Bing evolution entry pages. Entry pages. We're going to choose a segment. This segment is going to be like Bing search. Uh, email schedule is going to be never uh, HTML. Um, we just say display. Yeah, we don't mind. Da, da, da. And let's go for the entry pages. Okay, create report. Okay, so kind of the same one. And let's check. Okay, and as you see, actually, we got uh, our. Um, no, report made. So it's kind of interesting because it looks like a bit the features of Google Analytics name shortcuts, uh, which means that, okay, um, let's say I want to access to this uh, given report. And just uh, as you can see, there's no segment up here. But if I click over here, it will apply actually the previous segment, which was the one of Google and everything, um, everything went fine, right? So um, Yes, if you cannot afford actually the custom report uh, premium feature, or if you cannot create your own uh, plugin, you can use actually this workaround. So of course, it's not named custom report properly. Those reports are not included within the UI, let's say, of uh, the uh, main um, report of uh, Matomo, but it helps you actually keeping a, a record of uh, the different segments that you applied and uh, use them for any given uh, time period. And, uh, and that's kind of great, actually, if uh, you would like to, let's say, use custom report without uh, the possibility uh, to uh, uh, acquire uh, the given premium feature. Hope you enjoy actually this video. I think that it's not going to solve 100% of your uh, problem, but it's already uh, one way to do it. Thanks for watching.